So Jack Dorsey just announced that he's creating a Web 5, and if you're wondering what happened to Web 3 and Web 4, well then, join the club. But regardless, Jack wants to create an even more decentralized version of Web 3. So today, I'm going to walk you guys through the details that we've got so far about Web 5, just so that we can all try and get a better understanding of what's happening here. So the tweet that basically kicked all of this off was a quote tweet um, that Jack made on June 10th at 1.35 p.m. He said, this will likely be our most important contribution to the internet. Proud of the team, hashtag Web5, rip Web3 and VCs. And then he basically just links a website uh, that explains everything about Web5. So we're gonna kind of take a look through that and, and just kind of see what information we can pull from there. So right from the start, I mean, we can see that Jack's plan with Web5 is literally an extra decentralized Web3 platform. So think about what Web3 was trying to achieve in terms of decentralization. Jack wants to take it apparently two steps further. So it says Web5, an extra decentralized web platform. Building an extra decentralized web that puts you in control of your data and identity. The web democratized the exchange of information, but it's missing a key layer, identity. We struggle to secure personal data with hundreds of accounts and passwords we can't remember. On the web today, identity and personal data have become the property of third parties. Web5 brings decentralized identity and data storage to your applications. It lets devs focus on creating delightful user experiences while returning ownership of data and identity to individuals. And then funny enough, uh, he has this little graphic of Web2 to Web3, still skipping over Web4. <laughs> So we're gonna check out a PDF that Jack linked that's basically made just to help people understand the bare bones of what Web5 is. So once again, it says Web5 is the decentralized web platform. It's a new evolution of the web that enables decentralized apps and protocols. So from here, he's kind of talking about how web right now, people are users who do not own their data or identity. They're given accounts by companies and their data is held captive in app silos. The web that he's trying to build, the web five that he's going for, basically what he wants it to do is create a new class of decentralized apps and protocols that put individuals at the center. He says, we must empower them with self-owned identity and restore control over their data. So kind of seems like what he wants is he wants there to be no data going to these third-party apps. All that data is completely owned by the user. So as we scroll over to this next slide, it says, the decentralized web platform enables developers to write decentralized web apps using decentralized identifiers and decentralized web nodes, returning ownership and control over identity and data to individuals. We are calling this Web5. So kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier, he just wants the most decentralized version of the internet possible. So then Jack's team kind of goes through the pillars of Web5, as they call them. They've got decentralized identifiers of verifiable credentials and decentralized web nodes, all basically going towards that same goal of full decentralization and complete ownership of the data for those users. So these next few slides, he basically just goes way more in depth about these three pillars, kind of explaining their utility and the technology behind them. I'll definitely link this PDF in the description below so that if you guys wanna go through and read all that, you definitely can. But once again, as he kind of wraps things up, he says, Web5 is a decentralized web platform that enables developers to leverage decentralized identifiers, verifiable credentials, and decentralized web nodes to write decentralized web apps, returning ownership and control over identity and data to individuals. So we're actually gonna jump back over to the website because Jack and his team included something that was super helpful for me to understand the basics of Web5. Jack and his team thankfully included something called use cases, which basically just talking about hypothetical testimonials of what Web5 can do. So one of them is called Control Your Identity. And it says, Alice holds a digital wallet that securely manages her identity, data, and authorizations for external apps and connections. Alice uses her wallet to sign in to a new decentralized social media app. 
Because Alice has connected to the app with her decentralized identity, she does not need to create a profile and all the connections, relationships, and posts she creates to the app are stored with her in her decentralized web node. Now Alice can switch apps whenever she wants, taking her social persona with her. Now that piece of it to me is super exciting. I mean, that's basically saying that across all decentralized social medias, you can have that one presence. I know right now in Web2, it's incredibly difficult to have your presence cross over between different social medias, but this takes that away. It allows for people to just have their one identity, something that spreads across all of them, which for creators and people trying to build personalities and even just your everyday run in the mill social media user, this is huge. This is gonna help people be able to more easily get their content out to so many different platforms and be able to just build themselves up as one account. The next use case is called own your data. It says Bob is a music lover and hates having his personal data locked to a single vendor. It forces him to regurgitate his playlists and songs over and over again across different music apps. Thankfully, there's a way out of this maze of vendor locked silos. Bob can keep this data in his decentralized web node. This way, Bob is able to grant any music app access to his settings and preferences, enabling him to take his personalized music experience wherever he chooses. This one, also super cool to me. I mean, that's basically like saying, you know, the, the Spotify playlist that I get every single day, my daily mixes, I can only get those on Spotify. I can't get them on Apple Music. I can't get them on YouTube. I, I can't find them on SoundCloud. I mean, they're, they're, they're not anywhere except for Spotify. And that can be difficult sometimes because that's my main listening platform. So when I jump to these other apps, I'm not getting the same experience. This is saying that with that data, when it's with you, it's decentralized, you own it, that's your data all of these apps are gonna be able to have an understanding of what you like and be able to curate playlists and song suggestions that are specifically for you. And you know, I think that that's also some great utility behind Web5 and really helps me digest and understand a little bit more about what he's going for here. So I mean, as far as I can tell, it seems like Jack and his team are super serious about Web5, and it does seem to have some decent utility behind it, but I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think this is the end of Web3 and VCs? Are we really skipping over Web4 and going straight to Web5? Do you think that this is something that's going to be successful and something that's gonna be tangible in the near future? Because some of this technology is putting out, it's a big goal. And it's a big reach, but you know, with one of the, the richest, most powerful men in the world, anything is possible, especially in a time like this. So please let me know down in the comments below what you think about Web5. And I'll definitely link all the stuff down below that I was looking through today. So if you guys wanted to give it a deeper dive, you can. And just make sure you guys like the video. It just shows us that you support and, and you appreciate the information we're bringing out to you. And subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be making videos about all these new updates coming out with Web5 as well as other startups. VCs and Web3. So appreciate you guys tuning in. It's been real. Peace.